Hey guys, I honestly don't think we can show this. What? It's super it's inappropriate. Perfect. And no, I don't think it's good enough. I'm gonna see Mr. Hopley. Stop him. Watch it. <laughs> I've been trying to get a puff paper and we could wait until we get nothing. Hey Sam, can you um, let him know I'm after him? So, there he is. Mac. That's it. Only one with the pyramid, Josephine. <laughs> Year 12, your year's been like Elliot's moustache, atrocious, but I wish you all the best in your future pursuits and endeavours and may 2022 be normal for you. Good luck. Ready? Right, Year 12, what do I say? Who would have thought when we started back in Year 7 and I was teaching you guys that we'd have two lockdowns in, what, less than a year? And that you guys would be having your HSE extended by a little bit of time before you could actually sit it. So, all the best. I know you guys have been working hard. I know you've had a tough um, end to your, to your schooling and probably missing out on some of the things that you'd really like to do. But it's been a pleasure watching you grow up and come through the school and I've uh, really enjoyed it. So take care guys and we'll see you later. Yo. Sanchez, do you have any advice for Year 12's leaving school? Uh, now I'm on the spot. Work hard, get a to-do list. This is what I was saying, to-do list. Everything that you need to do, put it in the bloody to-do list. Calendar app, you all have calendar apps on your phone. Put anything that you have coming up. Songs down there. <laughs> we put everything into a calendar app and use a timer. And if you're gonna use the tomato timer, do it properly, because that's a really good help. But calendar, to-do list, and I've already forgotten. Timer, that's it. And one more question. How do you deal with break, um, getting dumped over text? Oh. <laughs> there are better ways to deal with it than I did. And I will not, <laughs> I will not disclose what that was. Alright, cheers sir. Go to your friends, that helps too. <laughs> uh, congratulations on finishing year 12 and what's been a very challenging year for you, but you've shown a lot of resilience throughout and I hope those are skills that you learn to take as you go out into the real world. So congratulations and good luck. Thanks miss. All right, it's been a long few weeks, Year 12, well, a long 15 weeks, and we've missed you very much over the last bit of time. Um, wishing you all the very best. You've done an amazing job under difficult circumstances. You've had a rough couple of years, but we've loved having you and wishing you all the best for every success in your HSC and in the future. Good luck, Year 12. Like Miss just said, you've done really well over the past two years of being in and out of lockdown. You should be really proud. I am. Wish you all the best for your HSC and your future endeavours. No, I just wanted to say Year 12, um, it's been really great getting to know you guys over the last few years since I've been here and the, the last 12 months that you've had has been interesting. 
but well done on most of you for continuing to show a bit of perseverance and getting yourself through your HSC. So good luck for the future and you're all going to go well. Most of you anyway, I'm not so sure about everyone. See Cheers, later. sir. Because I've got to focus on the hand. No, I thought. What can you do? And go. Hi, Year 12. I just want to say it has been an absolute pleasure and, and privilege and honour to teach you guys for the last two years. Some of you for more than two years. Um, you know I'm going to cry, guys. <laughs> I always do. Um, but I just want to say, you know what? You've had a lot of adversity this year. I'm so proud of the way that you've all dealt with that. Um, being in lockdown, you know, you're a really talented, amazing year group. I'm going to miss you all so much. I really am. Um, I just wish you all for your future lives, you know, joy, happiness and success. Please don't forget your St. Peter's family back here and all your teachers that, that love and care for you very much. And I really want you to come back and share all of your life successes with us and, and, and let us know what's happening in your lives. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Miss. Hi. I thought I would take a spare one minute that I have while I have Alice asleep on my chest here to um, say hi, wish you well, and uh, good luck with HSC and what comes after it. Now, when I was thinking of something, some kind of parting words to leave you guys with, um, of course, I had to look to Mother Atwood for some inspiration. And I found this awesome passage and I hope that it gives you some inspiration throughout um, your experience at HSC and after. She writes, water does not resist, water flows. When you plunge your hand into it, all you feel is a caress. Water is not a solid wall, it will not stop you. But water always goes where it wants to go and nothing in the end can stand against it. Water is patient, dripping water wears away a stone. Remember that, my child. Remember you are half water. If you can't go through an obstacle, go around it. Water does. Hey, Year 12. Uh, first of all, I just want to wish you all the best um, in the future and thank you so much for all you brought to my life over the last couple of years. Um, spending every lunch and recess um, out there just making me laugh and uh, yeah, you've added so much through lockdown. Thank you for keeping me motivated. Um, yeah, and keeping me upbeat. You brought so much to uh, to all of us through lockdown. So thank you for your commitment through this time. And so sorry you missed out on, on some of the big, uh, I don't know, big parts of year 12 and what that means. But you've worked so hard and I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So all the best. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Hey you 12, how are you? It's been really lonely here without you so much so I've just had to drive the bus around empty just to make me feel better. Um, probably the last time I'm gonna to get to talk to you so I guess today it wouldn't be a normal day for me if I didn't actually start by telling you a story. And uh, my story today, it's about an old carpenter. Um, this old carpenter, he was sort of ready to retire. He'd worked a really long life and got to the stage in his life where he just wanted to settle down, spend some time with his wife and his family. And he went to his employer and he said, I need to retire, it's time. And his employer was really upset because he'd been a really good worker. But the employer said, look, I need you to do one last thing for me, one last favor. I want you to build me one more house. And the old man said, all right, okay, just for you, one more house. But it turned out that his heart wasn't really in it. The workmanship was pretty shoddy. He cut corners and the final quality was nowhere near as good as it normally would be. So house was finished, the employer came back and a funny thing happened. He got the front door key and he gave it to the old man and said, this is for you, this is your house. This is a thank you from me for all the work you've done for me over the years. And the old carpenter was shocked, he was shocked. But what a shame, because if only he'd realized that he was building his own house, he would have done it really, really, really differently. And I think for us, especially this year, there's a really strong message in that because everything we do with our lives, even this year when it's probably been a year where we have been a little bit less motivated than normal, we've got to remember we're always building our own lives and that everything we do, our thoughts and our actions are the things that build our houses for the future. So today, year 12, as I leave you, I leave you with the message, build wisely. 
because everything you do is going to build your house for tomorrow, the one that you have to live in. And so I wish you all every happiness and every success as you, as you move into your futures. Goodbye. Cheers. Whenever you're ready. Hi, uh, year 12. Um, I'm outside the chapel, not that, you know, half of you would know that that's the chapel, but that's okay. Um, it's really cool to see you um, all coming back after this COVID lockdown business. Um, we have missed you. Look, I think you guys have actually done such a fantastic job. Two years with lockdown, with all the COVID nonsense that's gone on, and you guys are still here, you're still turning up, you're still gonna finish your HSC. So in all seriousness, well done. It's been difficult times. I would never, you know, pretend that it hasn't been hard for you over two years of all the COVID stuff that's happened, but well done, finish off really strongly. Good luck, God bless, and come back to visit. Cheers, sir. Hey Miss, we need to say something for the Year 12 video. Hi Year 12. Hi Year 12. Thanks Miss. No worries. So how's your uh, lockdown, mate? Good? Yeah, I'm glad to be back in a way. Oh, yeah, it's good. You must be so glad to see the end of those year 12 kids. They're the oh, worst year tell me about we've it. ever had in this school. Tell me about it. And we haven't been able to get rid of them early. We no. haven't had them for an extra month. I'm stuck with them. My year 11s are so much better than those You're so lucky. Oh. You're so lucky. I can't glad, believe glad you. Glad I want you wrong, wrong, mate. Well, the good thing is they're not here for much longer. Yeah. See you later, kids. <laughs> Bang. Out here. Yeah. Thank God. Good enough. Hey, no. Got any words for the Year 12 video? Oh, yeah, you guys come in. Just want a few words. Yeah, just for the Year 12 video. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. You guys have been a great year. I really enjoyed having you guys at school. So, yeah. Where, where do you want me? Oh, that's perfect if you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, Year 12. Been a great year. You've been a um, wonderful group of kids. Um, really proud to have taught you. Um, you know, the, the, um, the legacy you're going to leave on the school is, is never going to be forgotten. We guys are, are going to really miss you and um, wish every one of you all the best with your HSC, um, all the best with all your careers you pursue and, um, you know, you've been a, a great year and you're going to be successful in life and, and good luck guys, well done. This guy's literally impossible to find. I dare say I have no clue where this guy... He shouldn't be that hard to find. He's literally um, like one of the biggest teachers in the whole school. Yeah. Like seriously. I don't know where this guy goes. Yeah, we'll try his office, I guess. Yeah. I Excuse me, Mr. Hopley. Magenta Shores are on line one. Thank you, Ian. Steve Hopley speaking. Yes, great. Magenta Shores. 10th of December, roughly 7 p.m. for our formal. Fantastic, can't wait. Just wonder about the dance floor. Is there any chance we can turn it into a big handball court as well? Got about 15 or 20 blokes that are probably going to the formal single might want to have a game of handball. Secondly, I want to talk to you a little bit of music. You know, I need some of that great Oz rock, Hoodoo Gurus, Midnight All, In Excess. I really want to teach these kids how to dance. Um, another thing, just want to talk a little bit about um, a little bit about the booking. Yep. No, no, it's 106 now, not 180. Yeah, I understand a couple of years ago when we made the booking, we had 180 students, but unfortunately, we had to let a couple go. Yeah, a couple go to Berkeley Vale, a couple went to uh, Tumbiambi, a couple went to the entrance, yes. Yeah, they call them the weeds from the Pope's Garden. Anyway, love to see you, 10th of December, can't wait for the formal, cheers. Hi, Year 12. Um, first of all, 
wanted to bid you all farewell and most importantly want to congratulate you for what an amazing job i think you guys have had no better opportunity of the last two years to really know what it's like to navigate lots of challenges and come out the other side stronger and more confident um a big shout out and thank you very much to the musos that have been part of um the last seven or six years at school um so namely those ones in front of me keely hannah elliot lucy isabella all the other year 12s that have sort of put their hands up to be part of the music over the last six years you really have formed and created what is the music department in a lot of ways and that so you 12, I bid you farewell. Um, may you, everything that you want, everything happen to fare as well as it can possibly be. And may you do really well in the HSC and in the lives that you take on for the rest of the lives. For, ah, for the future. <laughs> See ya. Thank you. Hello Year 12, in this video I'm going to be talking about the function of life and on the horizontal axis I'm going to plot time which I'm going to call X and on the vertical axis we're going to plot fulfillment which I'm going to call F so we'll be plotting a function of time or a function of X. So the first function that I looked at was this one. I want you to have positive fulfillment in your life but in reality if the fulfillment is always constant then we're going to start to get a bit bored with that. So I felt we needed to have that your life needed to have fulfillment that was growing but again it's growing at a constant rate and if we look at that from another angle well it just becomes that. So in reality, to get fulfillment in life, we're going to have to have some joy as well as some challenge. So I figured we needed something that had a bit of a wave to it. But I didn't know whether leaving school, starting here, was a low point about to get better or whether it was a high point about to get worse. So what about if we actually put all of those together? We're going to get something like that. And I think that's more like it. So there you go, Year 12. I wish you a 1 plus X plus sine X plus cos 2X life. Hey, cheers, Tim. See you later, Year 12. I wish I'd seen you more this year. I only got to see you for part of the year. Loved every minute of it. We'll miss you to death. I think you all know that. And uh, may the force always be with you. Peace. And get a fake to you, guys. Scene. I uh, just want to really say congratulations to uh, class of 2021. You know, you've had a tough year with uh, lockdown and everything. Um, you know, you're a good bunch of kids. Uh, you know, you've always got a home here at St Peter's. Uh, you know, come back and uh, visit whatever you want to do. Uh, I suppose good luck. And, you know, Good luck, see you later. Whenever you're ready. All right. I just wanted to say um, well done to year 12. It's been a fantastic um, journey for year 11 and 12. We're gonna miss all you guys and girls and it's been in particular in a weird year of COVID, it's been awesome to experience doing the play, the Adams Family and having that real uh, team bonding for the year. What's it been like for you guys? For real. Incredible. <laughs> Blood, sweat and tears. Firstly, we have Maddie, queen of the her and known as Maximus Academius. But sadly, she got lost on Lady Elliot Island. Then we have Jack, but he's not here, so who cares? Secondly, we have Tuwa, who only comes at night and doesn't say a word. Next, we have Angus. He's French, so let's just move on. Then we have Will, or known for his ability to be a bit of a joker, so let's just look at his grades. 
Then we have Emily, who's the quietest of the herd, but she can be quite deadly. Then we have Mad Dogs, or her Latin name, Ad Insanius Cuntarium Cadem. She is unsure of most things and has to ask help for everything. Then we have Holly, who thinks North is up. That's going to come helpful when she becomes a pilot. Finally, we have Steve. She got this nickname because of the trouble she gets in at parties.